Hello friends, this is Maxi Gorov and you're watching the third part of the series of short videos on my successful attempt to colonize a totally wild and secluded place. Last summer I started building my log cabin from extra thick logs. A lot of the tall trees here were downed by a severe storm a few years ago, so I decided to reclaim those 15 inch logs, which is about 40 cms. Frankly, I thought I would be fully done by now, and looking back I'll say this. I could have built two cabins had I used skinny logs in their construction. Now, here's a problem for you guys. Besides the fact that it is a good idea to have a back door if a bear decides to camp at the front of the cabin, why do you think I made a second door? Okay, so it's been decided. The cabin is going to have two doors, which means we will need four jack studs and two headers to frame both doors. My jack studs are actually logs with two jointed surfaces. As you can see, it is easy to make a groove in the jack stud that will accept the log's tenons. I made two cuts with my chainsaw and then quickly chiseled the groove out. The last thing we need to do is to cut two tenons on the jack stud, one rectangular shaped at the bottom and one that is long and round at the top. It is easily done with a handsaw and axe. I'm doing it in a few steps to make sure I don't remove too much material and get my tenon to be just right. I made the bottom tenon rectangular so that the jack stud wouldn't rotate in the base log. It is even easier to make a corresponding mortise. I just drilled two holes and chiseled out the rest of the wood in the mortise. As you might have seen in the previous episode, you can easily hammer a square tenon into a rounded mortise. In fact, this is what professional carpenters do all the time, but I'm not a pro and can afford to act irrationally at times. So I took my time and rounded up the tenon only because I wanted to play with my homemade draw shape I made from a ball bearing. Lastly, I will chamfer the tenon and we are ready to install the jack stud. Note that I cut the jam and stop for the door from one piece. It is easier to cut a stop separately though and add it later. I just decided to make it all from one piece of log because it is just quicker to do so with my primitive tools. I have installed three jack studs and now I will show you the installation process using the fourth one. I used thin logs to make the jack studs and laid moss between all doorway members for better insulation. I was carefully fitting the doorway jack studs as it is easy to break off those tenons. Adding a piece of scrap wood to temporarily hold the jack studs vertically helped. You might have noticed I have made 16 cm 6 inch long round tenons on the top of the jack studs. These extra long tenons will go through the header into the gable's top log. Be ready to reinstall each doorway member a few times as it is hard to achieve the necessary precision on the first try. To finish the door frames installation, I just need to assemble the gable. This drilled opening will serve a double purpose. I'm using it to check if the door frame is still vertical, but later it's going to be a mortise for the door's top pin hinge. As you can see, there is nothing technologically advanced in building a log cabin. I'm using the same techniques our ancestors used thousands of years ago. P.S. It would be too boring to only build the log cabin during the whole month of my vacation. Simultaneously, I entertained myself with other interesting projects. I made a catamaran, built an earth oven, and made this external pack frame that I used to carry small trees I was planting around the camp. So far, I managed to transport and plant about 250 exotic deciduous trees over the years. If you liked this video, perhaps you could share it with your friends. Let good people watch good videos. This is Maxi Gorov, St. Petersburg, Russia. Lastly, I hope you will find my other videos to be of an equal quality.